This is Alfred Hitchcock speaking. In the past, I have given you many kinds of suspense pictures, but this time I would like you to see a different one. Hello, Wolfpack, and happy Thanksgiving. I know this is a U.S. holiday, but I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you across the globe. Thank you for supporting me, for supporting the channel, for watching a video or leaving a comment. I will never be able to properly express the gratitude that I feel for everything that you've done for me. But one thing I can do to say thank you is to give you an Oculus Quest 2. That's right, this beauty could be all yours. All you have to do to enter is drop a comment on this video telling me what you're thankful for from this past year. I want to thank the Oculus Ambassador program for helping me to get this cool stuff out to you. So happy Thanksgiving, Wolfpack, and nothing says Thanksgiving quite like bringing a family together and murder. <laughs> you're just playing, ain't you, boss? So welcome to Madrid Noir. This is a short VR experience that tells the story of a young girl and her uncle and the mysterious deaths that surround him. So while you're waiting for your family to arrive or trying to stay upstairs for as long as possible, join me on this adventure and let's see where the mystery takes us. Cool. Oh, I have to choose my hand? Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty pale. We'll go with that. Oh. Oh, damn. We're in an old storage facility. And there is the movie that we're going to be playing. We've got some matchboxes. I like how I hold this so daintily. Nice little picture of Jesus there with his crazy five-star halo. Drink some tea. Ooh, a mystery picture. Who is that dead man? Well, that's what we're gonna find out, isn't it? Ah! And here we go. Who murdered my uncle? Or who did my uncle murder? I really have no idea where the murder comes into play, but I hope we solve this crime. Madrid Noir, the full experience, play. love the music and the old school approach very noir should i make this entire video in black and white no no that would be dumb <sighs> nice interaction you turn on the light please hello is somebody in the darkness i just want to explore before i turn on okay we're gonna turn on the light Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Oh, hey. So these are the last boxes from the car. Finally. Finally. Hmm. What's all this? It's your mail. Postcards, what? maybe? I can imagine my uncle had this many friends. Oh, come on. Just because he's dead or declared dead doesn't mean he was this wonderful man. <clears throat> it's so dusty in here. <laughs> you know, I'm actually surprised this place didn't collapse during the war. Um, and thanks again for helping with this. Yeah, really. you're welcome. Don't even worry about it. You know, I haven't spoken about this in a very long time, but... Seeing as we are up here rooting through all his... crap... Mm-hmm. I may as well tell you some stuff about him. What? How does that still work? Well, it's a phone. Has it here? There's no plug. How is that working? What if I don't answer it? Hmm? You gonna get annoyed with your big old schnoop? Uh, High five. All right, fine. Phone, please. Yeah, I got you. There's no cord. What? I don't understand this technology. I bet you a hundred percent that this is my mother. Hola. Hola, mamá. Um, we're just starting now. Because we only just got here? Yeah, I know, I, I'm, I'm counting down the days. 
Well, I'll only be back in time for the fitting if you let us get on with it. No, I'm not shouting. I'm not shouting. Here, this I is think, just my voice. I think you need this. Hola. Do you want? Do you want? Mama? Hello. Okay. <sighs> oh, hey. Do you want? You want a little puff puff? You know, me and my mom don't exactly see eye to eye, right? Right. And now she's appointed herself as the wedding planner, and oh, it's just too much. Hey, it's okay. I'm here for you. All right. I wish I could be as excited as her, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just not. Sometimes I wish I could just run away from it all. Just escape to some paradise. Feel the sun on my skin. Why do I hear a jungle? Salt in my hair. You know, cut my teeth on some proper adventures. There's a lot of weird, mysterious things well, here. Not the most practical plan, is it? Oh. Come on then. These boxes aren't gonna pack themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Would you mind looking in those drawers while I rummage through this cupboard? Oh, I am already on it. I found a pencil and some mysterious newspaper clippings. Who's that guy? That guy looks like a villain from Mulan. Ah, okay. There's there's a lot of weird shit in here, lady. Wait, are you my wife or fiance? Are we the ones getting married? Huh. Nothing very exciting. Can I get in here yet? Oh, it's jammed. Just give it a good tug. That's what she said. <laughs> Hey! Get it! Ah, I did it. Ah, all right, we got a... Oh, the murder picture. Sure. Anything interesting in there? Yeah, a dead guy. Hey, hey, look. Look, it's a dead person. All right, we'll just leave that on the table. She doesn't seem to care. Me and my wife have communication issues. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was telling you about my uncle. Right. Firstly, don't be fooled by the cheesy bow tie. This man had some real skeletons in his closet. I must have been nine or ten years old when I got sent here. I was a bit of a troublemaker growing up. Yeah, you my were. My parents thought I could use some old-fashioned Catholic discipline. Though when I got here, discipline was the last thing on my mind. Okay, so picture this. It's 1935, a beautiful summer in Madrid. Wow. I just arrived off the train, and guess who's there to greet me? Oh my she god! Was the cutest little ball of squiggly fun I've ever seen. Her name was Paquita. I didn't even know my uncle had a dog. And we fell in love instantly. Paquita! <laughs> oh, and at the time, I fancied myself as quite the little Sherlock Holmes. I mean, I probably read too many stories, but I couldn't wait to get out there and investigate my first real case. But Manolo, my uncle, really didn't have the same plan as me. He just wanted to sit around inside, twitching his mustache and rustling those stupid newspapers. <laughs> this was going to be my summer. The worst part was, whenever he actually did anything, he would never tell me where he was going, never invite me, and he locked the door behind him. And I mean, double bolt. Wait, really? So, soon enough, my exciting adventure had turned into a bad case of cabin fever. Dead, okay. I remember wondering if I could generally die of boredom. Eventually, things got so bad that I just started doing the housework, just for something to do. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that didn't last very long. So, with nothing else to do, I started investigating anything I could get my hands on. Paquita is my wily sidekick, of course. Of course. But even Dad rattled my uncle's cage. And soon enough, he... Well, he had enough. And, in a bit to get rid of me, he gave me something. <gasps> I had no clue what it was, but it didn't take me long to figure out that it was an old camera. As soon as I got the hang of it, that was it. I knew I had found my calling. I love taking photos of things, even just around the house, especially Paquita. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> oh, she did quite a few knocks in the process, but <laughs> I think she loved the attention. And for a while, I began to forget that I was trapped in here. My uncle never joined in any of the fun, of course, or even notice what we were up to. Now that I think about it, 
It must have been around that time that I started to realize that Manolo was barely home at all. It wasn't just during the day either. He was always sneaking out at night time. Ooh. He was like clockwork. As soon as I put my head down, there he was, shuffling across that same squeaky floorboard every night. Did he really think I wouldn't notice? Come on, I knew he was up to something. Something shifty. Something worth investigating. And so this went on night after night after night. I just couldn't take the mystery any longer. I rooted through this whole damn office looking for some sort of, I don't know, some sort of clue, but that was nothing. So instead, I started to document his movement. What time did he leave? What direction did he go? Which tram did he take? Of course. And I started snapping photos of him every time he crept away. Oh, cool. I like that I'm standing on a chair. All right, camera. We have a mystery to solve. Oh, it's my uncle. Oh, cool. I got him. What are you doing? A little bit of a smoke break? Gotcha. Maybe he just goes out to smoke. Maybe there's nothing mysterious, although he is wearing that trench coat. And no one wears a trench coat unless they're up to something. Okay, well, he is clearly inebriated. So maybe he just goes out and, and drinks, you know? He has some friends. What is he? All right, he's play fighting. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought he saw me. So, so maybe it's not bad. Maybe it's just all innocent fun. Oh. Although, who stands against a light post like that? Huh. A mysterious deal with the driver? What are you up to, Uncle? What did you get? He hid it in this trench coat. That was definitely something. And why does he do it in front of his building? Your place of work, oh, that is a big guy. Hey, uh, uncle, be careful, okay? Make sure we get this. Looks like they're having a discussion. Oh, he looks mad. And they're shaking hands. I got you, uncle. It's all right here on the camera. What are you doing, dude? Ooh, he regrets it. This is not something he wants to be a part of. But even with all that evidence, I just couldn't piece it together. Well, there really wasn't that much evidence. Oh my god. To be honest, I was about to give up until... Until this one day. This one day when he came in with this bag. And right away, you could just tell there was something odd about it. Now, I don't know what I expected to be in there. Money? But I'll tell you now. It wasn't that. I never seen so much money before in my life. Where the hell did he got it from? And why? That was it. That was the moment I knew Manolo Monreal was not the man I thought he was. Oh boy. So at the very next chance I got, I followed him. You are a dangerous little girl. What? This is awesome. This whole time I've been waiting for a case to present itself and here it was. I mean, look, you would follow him, wouldn't you? Okay, I'm saying that now. Yes, I can see that it was a bit crazy. But it was great. I mean, this is very exciting. I love the city here. Go get him, kid. Where are you going?
Yeah, that's just a tree. Just a tree, sir. He does seem very paranoid, though. I won't deny that. Oh, Paquita. No, he, he went he went the other way. T to the right. Yeah, Paquita's got the scent. Looks like just a bar. He is, he's just having drinks with his friends. Really creepy friends. I mean, look at that mustache. He must be up to no good. Oh, my uncle seems friendly, though. Paquita, Paquita. Oh, no. Wait, what do you have? Do Holy shit, he has a gun. Oh, my God, he's going to kill me. That is terrifying. D nice. Good job. Step on the broken glass. Very stealthy. <laughs> oh my god, I love Brigitte. Absolutely the best. What am I taking pictures of, by the way? Well, they were sitting at the bench. I was on their tail, getting closer and closer to the truth when suddenly... I lost them. Oh, man. I thought you were good at this. Whoa. Out there alone, I could only think about one thing. I really hoped it was just for self-protection, but... Wait, what? Oh! Holy shit! Uncle? Yeah, okay, kids, you need to get out of there. Run. Run. What is he doing? Maybe there's... Maybe there's a reason he killed that guy. Randomly. After drinking with him. Uncle, I would love an explanation, buddy. Alright, uh, are you looking at me? Okay. Bye. Nice throw, man. It's very dark. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, do I have to find him? I got you. Goodbye, uncle. What the hell? What is he doing? Oh, hey. I'll make sure to keep the light on you. Where? It's like a game of Where's Waldo. Oh, well, there go the police. Where are you, Uncle? I'm going to find you. All right. You think you're so stealthy? Oh, I gotcha. Too bad you make too much noise. Where did you go? Oh, you're right next to me. Man, you are very, very quick. I'll give you that. What is happening? Oh, I see you. Yikes. Who's tapping? Oh, I, 
found you. This is really cool. I love the animation style. Uncle? Oh god. Who are you shooting at? Oh my god, he's getting lit up. What did you get yourself into, uncle? Uh, uh, stop. No, don't shoot me. What are, you, what are you doing, sir? Did, did he just fall? I was freaked out. I tried to keep up, but what could I do? I lost him again. I mean, I would be freaked out too. And then, strangely, Fluttering about in the wind was his bow tie. I was the only one left on his tail. And inside, I could see nothing but stairs leading down into darkness. So in I went, and the darkness welcomed. All right, she is way more brave than I would be. Oh, intermission. That was crazy. Okay, let's assess what just happened. Uh, she went to live at her uncle's place, and he was very mysterious sneaking out at night. One day we follow him, and he just shoots somebody on a bridge for seemingly no reason. Then he runs from the police and falls. Does he die? In the fall? Is, is he dead? I don't... I don't know. But I am very excited to find out. Let's see what this mystery unravels. The Tunnels Madrid summers are hot and dry and dusty, but not that day. It was a cold emptiness that goes straight through you. A constant drip dropping of water, forming pools that would make me jump with the splash of my feet. Yeah, I'm with Paquita. And that dark passage became a tangled web of tunnels. You should not be down here alone. I could hear trains rumbling, people going about their business as though tonight was no special night. Oh, Paquita. Twisted pipes formed sinister shapes that my mind made into monsters. You should not be here. I clutched Paquita as tight as I could. She could see and smell in the darkness, so she was my little living lantern. Aww. And I could feel her tiny heart beating against mine. So are we thinking that our uncle is down here in the sewers? Hey, it's me. Just, um, be careful, guys, okay? Do not go onto the tracks. No, 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 what is wrong with you? Oh, Paquita, you're a bad influence. I don't know what led me. Perhaps it was luck or fate or whatever you want to call it. But I've not felt it since. That knowing that need to press onward into the labyrinth. What is that light? Knowing that in every labyrinth dwells a minotaur. Um... Okay... He's alive! And he got his bow tie back, apparently. Look at those guns! Oh! He was hired to kill that guy! By this man!
Oh, Paquita. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh shit, uncle? Oh no! <laughs> uncle! He took a bullet for me! Oh god, my eyes! Paquita! <sighs> and so he run, dragging me along by my wrist? I freed myself as he burst through the door and went straight to jump the curtain shut. He was panting and muttering to himself, Think, 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 what next, what next? I asked him what was happening, Uncle Manolo. Quiet! He snapped at me. I didn't understand. Pack up your things! I've seen him angry before. Never like this. This was fear. Oh, damn. Fear of getting caught. So I told him I seen him shoot that man and I was going to tell everybody. Enough of your stupid childish fantasies. You've done nothing but get in the way. You're leaving. Now. Right. And that was it. There was no going back from there. Wait, what? As soon as I got home, I told my mother what had happened and she... She just brushed it off. Didn't even give it a second thought. I mean, I saw her brother, her own brother, kill somebody. Actually, murder someone. After a while, I stopped telling because, well, nobody ever believed it. I mean, why would they, really? It just sounded so silly. That's my mom again. She's the last person I want to talk to right now. Can I talk to her? I'll talk to her. Hey, what's up, girl? Hello? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's, um, she's busy. We're packing up the place. Yeah, no, she looks beautiful. No, just, just hang it. You sure? Do you, do you wanna? Okay, all right. G goodbye, missus. I should really learn your last name one day. Goodbye. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. I was... I really didn't need any of that right now. Hey, it's okay. Wait. Wait a second. Right. Right, what have we got here? He had so many secret compartments. Take this out. Well, you want me to do it? Don't you wanna... Mm. Is that my mom? She's very pretty. You, you want me to do it? All right. Here we go. Okay, you don't want to see this, all right? Ah, okay. Mm. Here we go. Mm. Uh, hey, hey, hey. No, 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 I'm no. not, I'm not. Be careful. I am. Okay, not pointing Maybe, it. Maybe, you know, you should think to put that down. Yes, yep, yep, good idea. We'll put that right back in there. Huh. What is that? Wow. A police badge? <laughs> I wonder what poor devil he stole that from. What if your uncle was in the police? And the murder was to stop a crime or something? Huh? It says these are blanks. That's why they look so weird. Oh! Blanks. Hmm. No. No, I saw him shoot that man. No! He fell off the damn bridge, I saw it! Yeah, but he fell into he the water. He away because I was the only one who knew what he had done. And what he was. I mean, he couldn't even look me in the eye. No, 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 it was all... He did it for your own good. That's, that's the guy he shot! Right there! And he gave him the money. Helped him get away. Wait. Who is that? Exactly. 
<gasps> Could he actually have been there? Our uncle isn't a murderer. No, 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 Lola, not, not really. Not after what you saw at the bridge. <sighs> but at this point, does it even matter? I can go over this time and time again, but it's not going to change anything. It's this tangled up mess of confusion and deceit and shame. In the end, nobody's left for the truth. Okay, just be careful with that, okay? It is still a gun, even if it only shoots blanks. Hey, it's your camera. What? Well, this brings back good memories, at least. Maybe, maybe there's something on it. Wait, you don't think there will still be film in here, do you? Okay, quick, turn off the light. Yeah, wait, okay. If there is, I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. On it. Oh, it's very dark. Mm -hmm. oh. Gotta be careful. All right. Here. Beg them on the line to try. This is cool. Old school. When I was in high school, I used to work in the, uh, the dark room for photography. It is a lost art, for sure. Now, what are we going to see in these pictures? What do you think we're going to see? Do I have to shake it like a Polaroid picture? What's in that photo? It's, it's... Pass it to me. This one? What? It looks like a letter. But what's in that one? Okay. Dearest Lola. Oh. I hope that you will return someday and this letter will find its way into your hands. You deserve my full honesty. <sighs> honesty. I don't think I know what that word means anymore. You must believe me when I say that those men you saw me with are not and never have been my friends. No, these are animals, brutes, who have been trying to take control of this beautiful city for years. My job was to infiltrate this group become one of them and bring them down from within. I knew it! But as cruel fate would have it, they accepted me into their rotten world the same day you, dear Lola, arrived on the train. What's worse in my distraction, I'd gotten sloppy. Perhaps it's my age or maybe the liquid, but it's no excuse. Carelessness just won't cut it when you're undercover. Soon enough, one rat has sniffed out another. I've been close to coming undone before, so I've learned a thing or two along the way. I knew I had to offer him something, something no one else would. Have you ever wondered how police protection sounds to a rat? like an opportunity. He didn't need much, just a gentle push and about as much sauce as my old liver could take. And soon enough we were in business. The guy liked to talk and I was all ears. I am not ashamed to admit it, the guy grew on me. We had the kind of friendship that only men who know each other's secrets can have. It seemed I was safe. And so, for a time, were you. But soon enough, the wolf started to smell a rat in the lair. And I started to sweat. Suddenly, I was handed a gun and promoted to pest control. Now, I, I hate rodents as much as the next man, but I'm no killer. So, I did exactly as the wolf asked. I got rid of the problem my way. 
If there is one quality that defines rats, it's their survival instinct. He wasn't gonna turn down a one-way ticket to some distant South American paradise. It needed no small amount of finesse. I had to collect on a few debts and cash in some favors, but after some theatrics, the rat was on his merry way to freedom. The only thing I'd overlooked an inquisitive little girl and a cross-eyed dog. We were damn lucky to escape that place. The wolf was on the hunt and I had no intention of letting any of us become his prey. But I couldn't do anything until I, I knew for sure that you'd be safe. So, I had to send you home, Lola. God knows you'd already seen enough misery. In Madrid. Every truck in my life ran through that station that night. You were gone. The rat had his bounty. And the wolf. The wolf had followed my trail. There's a reason why they hunt in packs, Lola. Alone, their bloodthirst tends to get the better of them. Oh no. Oh no. Yes. His prey had become his predator. And my own pack was close enough. Good job. But I couldn't hang my head up quite yet. You see, there's two parts to putting criminals behind bars. The first is what you see in the movies. You knock him out and lock him up tight in the darkest corner you can find. But if you don't have yourself a proper case, sooner or later they'll find a way out. I hope you know I couldn't have closed this case without you. The pictures. When all is said and done, I know nothing I say will excuse or make you forget how I treated you. But if I ask anything of you, it's to hold tight to the good things, the in-between times, those little moments of joy that we so readily forget. Aww. If only I could turn back the hands of time. I would have quit this game a long time ago. This is no life for an old dog like me. My place was making memories with my only niece. And now war is on its way. So I too must leave. Mm, I sure will miss this city. Mm. A smarter man than me once said that the best lead you'll ever get is your own gut. Don't let anybody drown that voice out, Lola. If only I'd listened to mine sooner. I'll leave you with my enduring love, your uncle, Manolo. Oh, man. Hey. Hey, it's okay. Don't look at me like that. No. You would be crying too if it was your uncle. <laughs> All this time I thought... It doesn't matter what I thought. I was wrong and now he's gone. Forever. But, but the, the postcards. Maybe he's sending you a message. I just wish he would have told me sooner. Who knows what happened to him. He could have disappeared during the war, or gotten polio, or, I don't know, run away with a lover or something. Well, I mean, that's possible, actually. That is the only thing I really know, right? That he's gone. Let me see. It's been, what, 15 years or so? Sure. Okay, well, he was old, but not that old. <gasps> you figured it out. San Francisco, Saigon, Casablanca, Rio, Paris. And there is this date. Okay, okay, okay. 
This might sound insane, but if Manolo was crazy enough to hide a letter and a photo in an old camera for me to find it, it's not that hard to believe he will be sending this here, right? And look at this one. November the 5th, 1950. That's less than six months ago. <sighs> Hold this. There's something I need to get out of my chest. Are we going Hola? to Cuba? Mama. Of course it's me, Mom. Listen. Mama, Mama, please listen to me this time. I'm not getting married next month. Wait, what? Oh, I don't know. Maybe next year? What? You gonna talk I'm to sure me about he'll this? Understand. And if he doesn't, so be it. Wait, am I not your husband to be? Oh. No, Mama, that's not the point. I just have to follow my gut on this one. Yes, I'm absolutely sure. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Looking good. <laughs> I love you too. Adios. Do it. Kita? <gasps> no, no, no! I want to see Paquita again. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Just the story, it went really, really quickly. It, it was easy to follow. There was a good twist. I mean, oh, the animation, that was fantastic. All right, Wolfpack, it's Thanksgiving. Go enjoy your family or your friends or yourself. You deserve it. I'm going to go do the same and make sure if you want that quest too, you drop a comment below telling me what you're thankful for. Till next time, Wolfpack. <laughs>